<laughs> Cleveland! What's good with you? I tried to be a friend. I tried to support you guys. I tried to be fair with you guys. But y'all kept running your mouth and talking trash. So I'm done supporting y'all. Y'all getting this today. Let's start with your quarterback, Baker Mayfield. Whoo! And I thought Lamar had the worst performance of week five. Baker Mayfield stuck up the joint. And you know what? You Cleveland fans did nothing but run your mouth and talk trash. Lamar Jackson can't throw. Lamar Jackson can't throw. Lamar Jackson can't throw. Well, Lamar in week five just put up his worst performance of his career. With one touchdown pass, three interceptions, and 161 passes. He just did not look great. But even he completed 68% of his passes. Meanwhile, your boy Baker Mayfield completed 8 of 22. 36% completion rate. 100 passing yards less than the Lamar. Zero touchdowns and two picks. And I don't care about the second pick being because of Callaway. That was not Baker's fault, but I don't care because you Browns fans kept talking trash. No one gave excuse to Lamar when he had two of his interceptions, which weren't even his fault. The first interception of the game happened on a pass interference call. That should have been called, and we didn't review it. The third one wasn't even a uh, uh, pick. It was an incompletion to touch the ground. But you know what? No one cared. They counted on him. So we're not taking that away from Baker. He played like flat out garbage. Trash. Worst performance of week five. Embarrassment. Lamar is working with first, a first and second year receivers. He's got two first year receivers. His favorite target would, um, and... In freaking um, Mark Andrews, second year tight end. Baker's got Odell Beckham Jr. and Landry. He's got Chubb in the backfield, and they come up with three points on offense against the 49ers? Y'all are an embarrassment. Y'all are a joke. And I'm glad you're getting this. I'll put it out here right now. You guys can beat the Ravens for the next 10 straight times we match up. And y'all can blow us out in the next 10 straight matchups. Y'all never going to win a Super Bowl. You've never accomplished anything. You're never going to accomplish anything. Because you guys are the Cleveland Browns. You are an embarrassment of the franchise. And you will continue to be an embarrassment of a franchise. You are the dumpster fire of the NFL. And you will continue to be that. Continue to be the factory of sadness. If I'm Baker Mayfield, I might want to be looking to get out of Cleveland. Maybe they zapped his powers. Maybe they took away his talent. You say he could throw, but he didn't show me anything that I could show he could throw in this game. Now, there were some drops that weren't his fault. But a lot of times, he was forcing the ball. In fact, the first pass he threw that got picked off by Richard Sherman was just sad. Floated. It was just embarrassing by Baker. Terrible performance. An embarrassment. Nick Bosa got his revenge for what Baker did in college when he upset their team and planted the flag. So you know what? Nick Bosa planted the imaginary flag right here in San Francisco and embarrassed Baker. Cleveland's defense couldn't stop. Y'all got to taste y'all man. So what y'all did to Baltimore last week, San Francisco did that to y'all this week. How y'all defense feel about that? Y'all got wrecked by the running game. And Jimmy G, he put up two touchdowns on y'all. Y'all got embarrassed. Y'all a joke. Odell Beckham Jr., if I'm him too, I'm thinking of getting out of Cleveland. This guy has not shown up. My God, he fumbled the ball. He fumbled the ball on the punt return. When does Odell do that? Man, he embarrassed himself. Y'all are a joke, Cleveland. Y'all are a joke. Y'all never going to win a Super Bowl. If I'm Baker and Odell, I'm getting out of Cleveland. Because any talent that goes to Cleveland dies. This is the factory of sadness. Nothing will ever change. Nothing will ever change for you guys. You will continue to be a joke. You will continue to be embarrassment. And because you decided to run your mouth, every time you lose, everyone going to get on your team. Because y'all wanted to run your mouth. And it's not all the Cleveland fans. But it was just enough for everyone to get pissed off. We felt bad for you. We felt sorry for you. We wanted to give you a chance. But y'all kept running your mouth. So y'all gonna get this smoke. <laughs> oh, man. Just an embarrassment all around. I don't care what y'all do moving forward. Matter of fact, I hope y'all win the division. I really do, so y'all can get some level of satisfaction and then proceed to just absolutely embarrass yourself in the playoff game. Because that would be sweet. Y'all are a joke, Cleveland. You will never win a Super Bowl. Live with it. Understand it. I don't care what talented quarterback you bring. You're the factory of sadness. Any talent that comes there dies. And you will continue to remain that way.
Hope you enjoyed that loss. And the fact, matter of fact, I hope you enjoyed that when you got by Baltimore last week. Hope you enjoyed that. Because that's the closest thing you're going to taste to a Super Bowl. Because we've got two Super Bowls. And I never like to bring up Super Bowls in this conversation. But y'all pissed me off so much that I'm done. The closest y'all going to get to a Super Bowl is beating a Super Bowl team in the regular season. So enjoy it. Because you will never win a Super Bowl. I'm done with y'all jokesters. Continue running your mouth about how great Baker Mayfield is and how better the Browns is as you continue to choke and fail games. I'm done with y'all jokesters. Have a nice day, Cleveland.